We're gonna cover multiple different ways that you can deal with your knee pain, and we're gonna start right now. Okay, so a lot of athletes struggle with knee pain. A lot of people in general deal with a large amount of stress around their knees. And there's a large amount of research that we can look at to help us figure out what can we do to handle this specific knee issue. And one of the aspects that I'm gonna bring up is from this specific paper. It's effects of isometric and eccentric or heavy slow resistance exercises on pain and function in individuals with patellar tendinopathy. So right off the bat, we've gotta understand that this is gonna be knee pain just below the kneecap. So oftentimes, if we're dealing with sports performance or with athletes, this knee pain right below the kneecap might actually arise or might actually be something termed as like jumper's knee. And this is typically gonna be seen when you go see a physio. And remember, if you have knee pain, I am not a physical therapist, I am not a physio, you need to go see a doctor. Based off of this research, we can start to break down what did these specific researchers see? Okay, so if you are experiencing that pain under the knee or just below the kneecap while you're squatting, while you're jumping, while you're running, this is where you might see like, okay, it gets fairly painful in a short period of time. You might feel it on a Monday and then by Thursday it's excruciating. And some individuals may even have this arise a little bit like behind the knee as well. And then we go into, okay, well let's rest. Let's ice it a little bit. Let's do like specific mobility. Let's stay away from exercises that hurt it. And that knee pain still doesn't go away, okay? And this can be common if we're dealing with a weightlifter who's constantly squatting. This could be common with jumpers or basketball players as well who are constantly jumping, landing, jumping, landing. They're dealing with a lot of stress around their kneecap on harder surfaces. And so what we can do is we can dive into the research from Lim and Wong and look at, okay, what happens if we use isometric protocols? What happens if we use eccentric Based protocols. What happens if we use heavy, slow resistance work? Does that improve the knee pain? Does that deal with that chronic stress? Okay, and all those things have been tested. If we can think about an isometric position, this could be, you know, if someone's doing wall sits and they're holding that for three to four minutes at a time, they do a couple sets. That's a pretty common protocol when you're dealing with that early stage chronic pain. They could do a split squat hold and you hold that position, let's say for 30 to 45 seconds. It's pretty challenging and it can help uh, wake up and deal with the stress in those specific areas. It can also help strengthen that. So those are two examples of what might be done in an isometric scenario. Now, if we're looking at an eccentric scenario, we could in theory do uh, like a 10 second tendinopathy, like a goblet squat for 10 seconds, really, 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 really slow on the way down and then come back up. 10 seconds on the way down, come back up. We could do a split stance squat where we go down 10 seconds, come back up. And you might come back up with some assistance. So you're just focusing on that long eccentric. And then the heavy, slow resistance exercises could be, let's just say a, a back squat or a front squat. And honestly, that eccentric with a goblet squat, that's probably more of that heavy, slow resistance. But let's say you're even on like a leg extension, you do an extension and then you would go like a 20 second slow and then you go through the slow concentric pattern as well. So those are the examples that they're trying to break down. So they look at this and they say, okay, based off of the isometric, the heavy slow resistance and the, and the eccentric, we're gonna have 15 different studies. Okay, so we're gonna pull from 15 different studies. Three of them are gonna be isometric based. Two of them are gonna be heavy, slow resistance based. 10 of them are gonna be eccentric based. Okay, so 10 eccentric studies that they're gonna be looking at here, two heavy, slow resistance, three over here for the isometric. And nine of these studies, they ended up deeming as, okay, these are the high quality studies. These are studies that we can actually rely on and that we can actually trust when we're analyzing knee pain and success out of that knee pain. Oftentimes, some of these studies might not have the same protocols. They might not have the, the best control system set up. They might also just be looking at the wrong stuff. Okay, so they, they deem nine of these as something consistent. And so from these findings, basically if we're looking at the isometric exercises, those should be the first level of defense. Okay, so the isometric exercises, that's gonna be that grade A issue. That can be that first level of defense. So somebody comes in, they take rest, they, they ice, and they still have that issue. Okay, now isometric 
movement, you know, the, again, talking about the, the wall sits, talking about the split squat holds, anything along those lines, even doing a leg extension and holding that for 30 seconds in the isometric position. Those are the first lines of defense. Then as we get into more severe scenarios like a grade B, now we're starting to deal with some substantial issues. Okay, now we can go through the slow eccentrics. And when we start to deal with grade C, okay, now, we're gonna go into the heavy, slow resistance work, okay? And the big factor here is that when we're looking at this stuff, we gotta be applying that heavy, slow resistance with some individual focus, with some clinical care, with some awareness of what's going on. But some of the big aspects that I think is that it appears, okay, it appears that when we're doing the isometric exercises, this is something that could be effective during the competitive season for short-term relief. We're in a basketball season. We're dealing with some knee issues before a game, after a game, some of those isometric drills should be how we warm up, should be how we strengthen, should be how we can get that short-term relief fairly rapidly. Now, heavy, slow resistance training or eccentric exercises tend to be more suitable for long-term pain reduction and improvement in knee function. So the issue here is that if we're out of season and we have an individual who is more prone to knee issues, we need to use eccentric patterns, we need to use heavy slow resistance and really focus on the technical aspect of how their knee is functioning. That's really gonna be the best way to apply these different results. And I think that oftentimes, we're gonna look at something like, in the short term, doing those lunges, doing those wall sits, doing those heel elevated sits. We'll see those isometric patterns and we'll do them even in the off season, but in all reality, it's not gonna lead to substantial strengthening or substantial functional improvement of the knee capsule, of the knee joint. Whereas if we do that that slow slant board work through a full range of motion squat or the slow leg extension with an isometric at the top. You could go slow, 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 leg extension, hold at the top, slow, slow, slow on the way down, leg extension at the top. That's gonna to be part of that heavy, slow resistance protocol. So then we're looking at sled pull backwards as well. That could go into that heavy, slow resistance protocol. Okay, you can go very, very slowly at a quarter squat depth and your quads are gonna get stronger. That in turn can help your knee joint. Then we can do 10 second Spanish squats or 10 second zombie squats with your heels elevated, 10 second eccentric front squats. All of these movements are really gonna be in the off season when we need to strengthen. So go to back over this. First, go see your physio. Second, recognize that the isometric positions based off this paper are gonna show you that short-term relief is key from isometric positions. Do them in season. Off season, don't shy away from squatting with slow eccentric, with heavy slow resistance patterns. You have to get stronger. A lot of basketball players, a lot of volleyball players will shy away from that resistance training and then when the season comes around, they still have knee issues because they haven't done that strengthening. They haven't done that strength work. If you guys need help with that strength work, head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store or the Apple iOS Store. You can download Peak Strength, which is our strength training app to help you improve that knee function. Because remember, freaks, if you wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.